green tea with meals might limit iron absorption. Some people may experience sleep disturbances. One cup, 237 milliliters, of green tea is approximately 35 milligrams. Anxiety, high blood pressure, fidgeting, and uneasiness are some of the most. The bottom line is, Despite the fact that green tea has numerous health benefits, it may also have some drawbacks. In this video, I will share some major side effects of green tea. Please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, so you won't miss out on our future updates. Let's start the video. It is possible that nutrient absorption will be impaired at mealtimes. Several chemicals included in green tea can bind to minerals in your body and prevent them from being absorbed by your cells. Tannins, in particular, are chemicals present in green tea that function as anti-nutrients and inhibit the absorption of iron by the body. Furthermore, research has shown that the polyphenol epigallocatechin 3 gallate EGCG, found in green tea can bind to minerals such as iron, copper, and chromium, inhibiting their absorption into your body by your body. Several studies have shown that drinking this tea with meals might limit iron absorption, which may result in a deficiency over time if consumed in large quantities. Consequently, it is preferable to consume green tea between meals whenever feasible, especially if you are lacking in iron or other essential elements such as calcium. Some people may experience sleep disturbances as a result of this. The caffeine content of one cup, 237 milliliters, of green tea is approximately 35 milligrams. While this is somewhat less than the approximately 96 milligrams of caffeine delivered by the same amount of coffee, it is still significant. Those who are susceptible to this stimulant may nevertheless experience negative side effects from it. Anxiety, high blood pressure, fidgeting, and uneasiness are some of the most common negative effects of excessive coffee usage. Caffeine, on the other hand, can produce sleep problems even when eaten up to six hours before bedtime. The consumption of green tea should be avoided by those who are allergic to any of the components included in the beverage. In persons who are sensitive to caffeine, caffeine is the major ingredient in green tea that triggers allergic responses. We must keep in mind that the modest quantity of caffeine included in green tea is responsible for the majority of these negative effects, which is critical to remember. As a general rule, if you consume a cup of coffee and do not feel any of these symptoms, it is unlikely that you would have any unpleasant side effects from ingesting green tea as well. The bottom line is, the time of day you choose to consume your green tea is entirely up to your own personal inclination. While some people may enjoy drinking it in the morning or before working out in order to get the health advantages, others may choose to consume it throughout the day. Others may find that it works better with their schedules at various times of the day. You should keep in mind that it contains caffeine and certain chemicals that can inhibit the absorption of certain minerals. As a result, it's probably better not to consume it right before bed or with meals. Thanks for watching. Please comment if you have any questions about this video.